subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the latest updates. Hi, what's up beautiful people out there? This is Ashish Johan from Ashwish Creation. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all of you guys are doing extremely well. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a very unique photo with jellyfish concept. Just like Caleb, who is a very famous Instagram photographer and from the inspiration we got from him, we have decided to make a unique, a very you know, jellyfish like photo manipulation in Photoshop. So before getting to the video, just hit the like button on this video so that it will motivate me to make more videos and presets for you guys just for free. And if you still haven't subscribed to our channel, then do subscribe and hit the notification icon to get latest updates. And visit our website that is www.astrogreasons.com. From there you can download backgrounds, camera preset, Lightroom preset and every kind of loots and photo editing stuff just for free. So guys, go and check it out that website and don't forget to just follow me on Instagram. So let's jump to the Photoshop. The very first thing you have to do is just capture this passport size photograph like in the room or whatever the position is you can just capture this kind of image so the very first thing you have to do is just select the photograph by using the quick selection tool and just click on the plus icon and just roll all over the subject's body to make it selected here you can also use pen tool to select very pre precisely so it will take a lot of time but here i have already cut out the image so i'm using the quick selection tool and here the important thing is to select the hairs of the subject so all you have to do is just right click on it and select the select and mask option if you are using photoshop cscc sorry and if you are using cs6 then you can find a refine edge tool from there so go and select the second one brush tool and just you know roll all over the edges of the image of the subject's hair to make it selected in a proper way so it will automatically you know select the minute details of the hairs and hit ok now just right click on it and select leave a copy option so you can see the different uh, so you can see that we have made uh, you know duplication of the image so here we have done the cutout of the image so all you have to do is now let's just add the background on the image so just go to the open and just browse the background which you want to add on our photographs so let's select the, any of the background from here let's take this exam background just to drag it and drop over here now press ctrl l from the keyboard and just make it more darker now all you have to do is go to the filter select blur and select the box blur from there and just do it to around 40 to 50 percent here you can just adjust the perspective if you want to adjust so this is how you can just adjust the image <clears throat> now let's add some more jellyfish on the image so let's select this just drag it and drop over here press ctrl l from the keyboard and make it more darker go to the filter select box blur from there and again just you know place some uh, anywhere over the position which is which is more suitable you can just keep it that here you can just move and just change the blending mode to screen so that you know it actually you know merge with the background now here the next thing would be to add some more jellyfish so let's select this and just drag and drop over here and just drag it and drop our photo editing stuff over this now just change the blending mode to screen press ctrl l from the keyboard and just make it more darker from the left to right press ctrl t and just decrease the size of the image or the 
jellyfish again let's press ctrl j from the keyboard and make a duplication now here we will just decrease the size of this and let's keep it somewhere over here now the next thing would be to add some more darkness on the image so all you gonna do is let's create new layers create a clipping mask and select the brush tool and select the black color from over there and just you know paint the black color in this position change the mode to multiply now here we will select the color lookup and just go to the and select the cinematic loops of that is the four fourth one now here you can uh, still more select the black color and just paint it on the edge of the image of the hairs Now here you can select the eraser tool and just uh, decrease some opacity or let's erase it. You can decrease the opacity and just erase some a little bit of blackness from this area. This actually looks like a shadow which we want actually. Now again let's just uh, Keep this and just you know place this jellyfish over here press ctrl D and just you can keep it somewhere over here now go to the filter select blur and then select the Gaussian blur and just blur it a bit to around 10 to 15 like Again press ctrl J from the keyboard and let's keep it somewhere over here. You can decrease the size of it. Let's keep it somewhere over here. Let's add some more particles on the image. If you still just press Ctrl J and you can place it somewhere over here. To give it look like a, you know, a unique touch, you can just place it somewhere over here. Now the next thing would be, you know, to, uh, you know, to blur the edge of the subject because it is really looking unnatural so it is very much necessary that you should blur the edge of the cutout image so select the blur tool and select the hard drawn brush from there and just blur it on the edge of the image of the model so that it will you know actually look original and it won't look like a fake so you can use this technique to you know to do the process of this so that you know it will actually blend your photograph with the background and your photograph will look way more original which we actually want so it is very much necessary that whenever you are doing this process of cutting out the image and changing the background that you should keep this in mind that uh, you should always do the process of blurring the edges because this will actually create your photograph to look way more better and original now let's create again new layers create a clipping mask on it select the brush tool and just pick the bluish color let's select this and let's you can just give the strokes and change the blending mode to soft light now it is really looking 
kind of you know unique or you can still press ctrl u and just make it more lighten and also let's keep it somewhere over here this will actually you know create look like a very colorful shadowy thing is just it really looks amazing now here the next thing would be you know to add some more particles on the image so let's select this particle just drag it and drop over here and just place it below the subject cutout image increase the particle image and change the blending mode to screen because this particles is also you know making your photograph to look uh, very amazing and realistic so here you can just delete if some particles are big then you can select the eraser tool and just delete it so let's create new layer and just give some strokes of it select the eraser tool and increase the size and let's So this particles is really making your photograph to look way more original and unique. Again let's select the eraser tool and you can just delete some unwanted bigger, bigger particles which is you know making your photograph not good. So you can just erase it by using the eraser tool. It's not a big deal. Here it is also a very bigger particle which is not looking good. So I am just erasing it here is one more and now the next thing would be you know to make your photograph to look more instead of teal color you should uh, add the bluish color so let's go to the hue and hue and select the blue color and just change the slider to bluish tone now it is you can see the difference from teal color to a very bluish tone it is really looking amazing which is a perfect photo like a callop now we will just uh, select uh, just merge all the layers right click on it and select merge layers here again if you want to add the particles about the subject layer then you can press ctrl j from the keyboard and just you know again create a clipping mask press ctrl t and just you know add some particles only on this portion here also you can do the same technique if you don't want on the hair region you can just select the eraser tool and just delete it it's not a big deal so you can see the difference it is actually looking very much you know unique now all you have to do is let's just merge all the layers right click on it and select merge layers yeah this one was remaining now let's select the merge option and select merge layer and let's crop the image once again by pressing the crop tool and just press enter button now the next thing would be you know to go to the filter select camera filter from there and let's make it some more bluish color so all you're gonna do is just move this slider to bluish color this one is really looking very much awesome so this is how you can just you know move the slider and make your photograph very much looking bluish so next thing would be you know to add some more effect if you want to add you can add otherwise it is okay you can add some contrast if you want to add and increase decrease some highlights and 
you can just increase some shadows if you want to increase otherwise it is okay and let's just decrease some whiteness or just minor increase the blackness from here and now let's just increase the clarity of the image and just increase the saturation from here here also we'll just decrease some saturation Now it is really looking pretty much perfect for your Instagram profile. If you want to play with the blue color then always you can do if you want to add this. Otherwise this blue color is actually looking pretty much okay. You can add some highlights if you want to add. Let's add this blue highlights on the image so that it will look amazing. If you want to add some shadows then always you can add. Let's add the blue color shadow. A blue, very minor bit. Now this one is really looking amazing. Now just hit OK and finally here we have completed our process and you can see we have perfectly edited just like Caleb and it is really looking very amazing this would be the perfect photo for your Instagram profile so you can see the difference from a normal photograph to a very amazing jellyfish concept which is very famous and is really looking amazing well I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and if you enjoyed then just hit the like button on this video so that you know it will motivate me to make more videos and presets for you guys and if you still haven't subscribed to our channel then do subscribe and hit the notification icon to get latest updates and don't forget to visit our website that is www.astrocreations.com from there you can download backgrounds, camera preset, lightroom preset and every kind of photo editing stuff just for free so guys go and check it out that website and don't forget to follow me on Instagram just type Astral Creations. So guys thank you for watching and goodbye till the next video.